All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a very special moment for me. Um, today is January 20th, 2021. So some of you know that that is uh, a big day. I've had an amazing day, and now I'm kind of coming to the latter end of my day with a guitarist that I really look up to as a role model. There's a lot of superlatives I want to use right now, but I just want to say that I look up to this guy as the guy who's doing what I want to do. So the option, the the fact that I'm able to talk with him for a couple minutes really, really means a lot to me. Um, so, Tim Palmieri. Hello. <laughs> it's, weird, it's weird even saying it. Tim Palmieri. <laughs> I am here. I am ready. <laughs> you are Tim. <laughs> can, you, can you give us just a, a you know an elevator pitch on on you know on who Tim is as a guitarist? Sure. Tim Palmieri, uh, born and raised in uh, well, born in New Haven, raised in East Haven, Connecticut. Been playing guitar since I was four years old, and uh, studied for two years when I was a kid. Learned how to read. Then did uh, a lot of self teaching. Maybe one year in a jazz band uh, in high school which put me into that path a little bit. And then after that, I joined a, a psychedelic jam band in 1998 called Psychedelic Breakfast. And then since then we changed our name to The Breakfast and then another group, funk fusion group called Kung Fu, all out of New Haven. And uh, I'm basically just looking to rock and roll, keep it alive as long as I can. My brother, <laughs> you have brought me through many nights of amazing stuff. You know, I, I, I can't even, I, I have to stop myself right now. Well, so, I'll tell you, it's been a hell of a year, so I'm glad that we all found a new outlet towards still getting that, you know, the, the yeah, vibes from rock and roll. And like, you know, the I've, been doing, I've been doing a lot of collaboration videos lately with people using this app called Acapella, which makes it easy for me to, like, start something, and yeah. then half an hour later, it's on Instagram. That's awesome. You know, I've... um. I've, I've been working with uh, Jonathan Scales a little bit lately, and, uh, you know, we've got some stuff on deck for that. You know Scales? No, I don't. Not personally. Uh, he plays the steel pan. Yeah, but uh, he's an amazing musician. Yeah. He's a... Uh, Monster. Let's not go into Scales, because <laughs> yeah, we it's... can talk Scales. We can talk Scales all day. Well, that should be the next podcast. Scales on Scales. <laughs> <laughs> I will get him. I'll tag him on this. I'll see what he says about that. But, uh, so, Tim... You are, as you mentioned, in a very uh, amazing band. You didn't call it that, but I do. Um, called Kung Fu, and I think you've had some great success. And I really love what you do. So I'd like to ask you, um, what's a few things that a guitarist has to know about succeeding in the jam band community, in your opinion? Well, the jam band community loves improv, so you have to be a master, or you know, you have to be proficient at improv. You know, being a master comes over time with the experience. So uh, being able to improvise is very important. No sheet music allowed, no rhyme or reason, just going off and holding people's attentions through your, you know, journey. So that's to me is very important. Uh, and then the jam band scene to me, music is always fun. So it's got to be, it comes off as fun in a good time. I mean, even if it's moody, it's still like born in a good time a little bit. Yeah. So I think that's important, um, the positive energy of it. And then uh, what else? I don't know. I mean, just in music, it's always good to stay versatile as much as you can, you know? What about uh, non-musically? What about culturally as a musician in, in the culture? As somebody on the stage in the culture, just a thought. Uh, in the culture, what's important as a guitar player? Or just to, as as a, any musician, like, I don't know, about the party scene or about the, you know, something like that. I don't know. Well, you know, you got to be careful when you play with fire. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's one thing. On that. Yeah. But, think... Or don't let funny habits get in the way of music. You know, yeah. music is the, the most important part of it all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. OK, that hit that nail. I think we were that's what I was going for with that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, so, um, again, big Kung Fu fan. What's a couple of the coolest parts or maybe a, a story about being in Kung Fu that you think is dope? Like, what's something that makes you grateful to be in Kung Fu? That's the question. Well, you know, since we both do solo acoustic, you know what the, the, role, the role of it is and the responsibility. You can never stop. The whole party rests on you. It yes. rests on my strumming, on my looping, and my soloing, and my singing, and my acknowledging. There's so much. With Kung Fu, I love how my role is very 
specific as a guitarist and an element of the band. And I love playing with badass musicians where um, they take a solo, it kicks ass, and I'm watching them like, you know, having a uh, having a sip, <laughs> just like yeah. basking in the flow of like, holy oh. shit, <laughs> like wow. I love I love not playing at gigs. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to take the guitar out of the hands and you're just like, all right, this sounds good. Hey, you having fun out there? All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Absolutely. So I guess I had one more question for you. Um, you're a fantastic guitar player. Um, so I was wondering, what's an awesome lick for a guitar solo that you use sometimes, which sounds awesome, but is actually pretty easy to play and maybe versatile? If you just had a thought on one lick that might be cool. Well, I'll do two because you pointed one out. Ah. Right? You pointed out on the second string, frets five, seven, and ten. So this is a tapping hammer on technique, you know, swipe with the right, hammer on, hammer on, hammer on, then you go back down. Yeah, that's my taking on Eddie Van Halen finger tapping and applying it uh, modally, you know, so that's the thing. As long as you could see how these intervals play out on one string, you could play an entire piece on one string finger tapping if you wanted to. Yeah. You know, and, and the other one I would advise is the old Jimmy Page. Nice. Is that a minor? Is that a minor you're doing there? Yep. So that's an A minor. Flat three. One, two, six. So you can do it in five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or you can do it in sixes. You know? Yeah. And he moves it around, then he'll move it up three frets. And then like anything with guitar, take that motif and find other places. You know? Yeah. You could apply it to any scale. <laughs> anyway, That's you said one gold, leg. Man. That's <laughs> absolute gold. All right, Tim, I think we're going to wrap up the interview portion. This has been absolutely amazing. Um, I just, I had one more question I forgot I was going to ask you. It's just kind of sure. silly. Uh, sure. What's the best fish song? Ooh, damn, that's very difficult because, like, what's the best? Like, what criteria am I measuring this to themselves? <laughs> two songs that I like. Uh, is it the best? Maybe I like this one, even though, like, you know, is Strange Design the best or is Fluff's Travels or, uh, you know, but yeah. I, I'm not going to every time there's one song that every time they play it, they outdo themselves in the jam. They please the audience thoroughly. Yeah, and it's a crazy tune. I mean, I could say Yem right now being one of them, but we yeah. all know that David Bowie is ah, so good. I mean, the Bowies are just mind bending. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, Fish is really good, in my opinion. <laughs> they are. <laughs> yeah. Cool, man. Um, Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, it. That's, that's cool, Tim. Thank you. It's been nice talking with you, and I'll I'll put this video out. I'll tag you. You can check it before I post it. But this is great. But uh, I guess let's move on to my lesson portion then. Cool. Cool. Thank you, man. That was great.